Okay, uh, this right here is the site of the uh, Lewisburg number two coal mine. And uh, these right here were the uh, coal bins right here for the Lewisburg number two coal mine here. And uh, they constructed all this in the uh, mid to late 1920s. Uh, after Slaw Sheffield Steel and Iron Company bought uh, Alabama Consolidated Coal and Iron Company, they did a lot of modifications to the uh, Lewisburg Number no. Two Mine, and uh, they constructed a uh, Montgomery coal washer, which would have been up over there. They built a brand new, huge wooden tipple, new, new huge hoist house with a Hardy Tines electric hoist cable hoist and the mine would have been back right over right over in that location but uh, anyway the uh, coal washer would have been right up over here hoist house would have been back up over there on top of the hill so like I said the mine portal was down over this way in addition to Alabama Consolidated Coal and Iron Company's purchase they purchased the included in the package was the Mary Lee Railroad which at the time it it uh, kind of stopped right up here, uh, just uh, north of uh, north of present day Fultondale, and Slaw Sheffield Steel and Iron Company they agreed to uh, pay trackage rights to L and N on their Cane Creek branch to have the Mary Lee Railroad also service their mines at Bessie and Flat Top. Out in West Jefferson County, but uh, this is uh, remains of the Lewisburg Number no. Two coal bins, coal washer remains right here. So, all right, just take a look around here on some of the stuff. Okay, you can just see how overgrown everything is. I mean, it would take a lot of work to come up here and clear this off. But uh, there's a nice big chunk of uh, coal from the uh, Lewisburg Number no. 2 mine. That's uh, coming out of the Mary Lee coal scene right there. That's a nice big chunk of coal. But uh, not really sure how all this worked. You know, you've got more of the concrete structure remains right here. And, uh, of course, there's, of course, you've got all this right here. Uh, so, I, I think these were the coal bins right here. Uh, I'm not really sure. But anyway, uh, haven't seen any diagrams on how this operated, but this was all part of the coal bin and coal washing network here for the Mary Lee, or the uh, Lewisburg number two mine right here. So... And this mine stayed in operation up to the early 50s. I, I want to say no later than 1954. And the Lewisburg Number no. 2 mine was a huge, huge underground mine. I mean, it went all the way to Gardendale underground, all the way out to present-day Mineral Springs, uh, to the northwest of here. And it actually buttressed up against Republic Iron and Steel Company's Saberton number two mine or number number one mine which would be over where actually where a SIPCO is so all right just take a look around here for a little bit okay this is just uh, some more of the concrete uh, structural remains of the Lewisburg number two mine almost looks like this is where the coal came down out of these chutes right here do have some diagrams of a Montgomery coal washer but I don't think it would be relevant to this particular mine right here but, uh, anyway impressive concrete structure right here nonetheless Like I said the hoist house would have been somewhere up somewhere up there 
almost on the other side of the hill. All this up here, it's like a gigantic mountain. That's actually a coal tailings pile. All that right there is a coal tailings pile. So, but uh, anyway, take a little bit, take a little bit better uh, walk around here and. Uh, Examine some more of the concrete remains of the Lewisburg number two mine. Okay, here's a little bit better view out of the sun here on the bottom. But I think I think this is I'm not sure this could be the coal bins here, but could be over there. So but uh, this is just part of the concrete structure remains of Lewisburg number two right here built back in the mid to late 20s. And you can see there's remnants of uh, coal everywhere right here. And, uh, Yeah, I think I think these uh, these are the coal bins right here. You've got a rock retaining wall right there. Now that goes back to the late 1890s, early 1900s, right there. So, and we'll go explore down here for a few minutes more. So, okay. Okay, you've got this uh, low rock retaining wall right here. You said probably constructed in the early 1900s. And uh, this is on top of what I believe are the coal bins right here. And a uh, little bit better, better view. So. some pipes right there yeah the, these were the coal bins right here so the the other structure down there is probably the coal washing complex but these this is where the coal after it was brought up out of the uh, up from the tipple coming up mine cars come up from the mine uh, the mine cars containing the uh, coal would have been dumped out somewhere along here or there was a above above line tramway rail for the mine cars to just dump this coal but uh, yeah yeah these are the coal bins right here so I saw a lot of coal in their day so. These are definitely the coal bins. I'm not sure what that is over there, but these are definitely the coal bins. So, right there. All right, just explore down this way for a few more minutes before we wind up uh, just checking out the final remains of the Lewisburg number two coal mine site. So. Okay, uh, one last thing. It's kind of hard to see in the sun, but where those concrete mounts are right there, this is where the tipple would have been, right here. Hoist house would have been a little bit further up, right here, but this is where the uh, mine tipple was, right here. Uh, 
This is a pretty long mine tipple and it went down at a pretty good steep angle but the mine portal would have been down over that way. Uh, the man way would have been over here if I believe to the left of the, mine, the slope. So, but, uh, Anyway, this is just a little bit of a backside here. Right there. Okay, this is just a uh, good uh, front shot of the uh, coal bins, concrete coal bin remains of the Lewisburg number two mine. Uh, right there. And you've got the remains of uh, old rock wall right there. So. Try to stay out of the sun. But anyway, it stretches on down there to where those other concrete structures are. But anyway, I need to finally come come up here and finally see this. So, some uh, forgotten mining history of the Birmingham district right here. These were historic mines, Lewisburg number one and two. They were originally called the Mary Lee Mines. So going all the way back to the late 1870s, early 1880s. So, okay, well, I don't wind this up.